So the final race of day two then is the future champion Novice's Chase. This is a grade two, whereas the previous Novice Chase wasn't a grade anything. And we've only got three in this, which is rather strange. And it's almost a, a, a match, isn't it? It's Ronaldinho for Paul Rhodes against Extreme Consequence for Joshua Sutherland. And thrown in the mix just to get in the way is Darling of Dionysus for Martin Leader. And I can say that because that's me. And I've already put him in because third place prize money in this has got to be worth having. So let's hope he gets round. Or she gets round. They're off and they're racing. And I don't think I've seen a three-runner race since my very first season. And this could be um, pretty interesting. They've got 16 fences to take. They're already over the first one. And um, they're now over the second with extreme consequence in the red and black hoops. Ronaldinho in the white with a green hoop. And Darling of Dionysus, the back marker in the dark green colours. So they're all over three. Extreme consequence, Ronaldinho. Darling of Dionysus is not really a great deal to say at the moment. But I can't believe nobody spotted that there was only three in this. And um, slotted something in. Because, you know, it would have been a decent prize for fourth as well, I would have thought. And fifth. And they skip over the fourth. And Darling of Dionysus very nearly went. And put paid to my cunning master plan of picking up a load of cash for nothing. As they reached out towards the fifth past the ambulance. And the field is well strung out. The jockey on Darling of Dionysus has now figured out that it's just, his job is just to get round and finish third. Or maybe one of the front two could fall, who knows? Anyway, Extreme Consequence is the leader. Ronaldinho is second, and then a long gap back to Darling of Dionysus, who's what a hunter chase this season, so it just gives you a bit of an idea what a windmill tilt this is for that one. It wasn't really a suitable race for him to go in, or her to go in this week, so this one has been as good as anything. So. Passing the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. And means that at least Darling of Dionysus won't get lapped, but it's extreme consequence in the lead then from Ronaldinho second, and the cameraman is going to struggle to keep all three in shot, I think, at the moment. Extreme Consequence is leading by about four lengths to Ronaldinho in second. Poro's got quite a few Brazilian footballers in his team this season. Darling of Dionysus is a good 10 to 12 lengths behind in third. Extreme Consequence in front. Over that one. Safely over that one. Half the jumping done now. And extreme consequence races uphill with a lead of about five or six lengths to in second place Ronaldinho. And then a gap of another ten lengths to Darling of Dionysus, who is in third place. And then race into the final seven furlong shortly. This is a ditch. Uh, they're all over that one nicely as well. Extreme consequence, probably about as far in front of Ronaldinho as Ronaldinho is of Darling of Dionysus, which is a little bit of a surprise. Expected these two to be closer together. Extreme consequence of Ronaldinho, the two power stables really. Oh, John Morgan, if he put a full team in and entered in all the races, I'm sure he'd be probably beat both of them to be honest. But um, I think it's fair to say that. Joshua Sullivan and Paul Rhodes have won more than half of the races this season between them. And they're probably going to win this one as well, one of them. I can't see him. I can't see me taking it, although Darling of Dionysus is getting a little bit closer. As they skip over to 13th. And ooh, nearly went there at the back. <laughs> Just two, no, three more to get over. And it's extreme consequence in the lead then from Ronaldinho second as they come to the third last. Over that one as well, and Ronaldinho doesn't appear to be making any ground on the leader. Extreme consequence comes to the second last, skips over it nicely. They're all over it now, just one more to jump. And this has been one of the most uneventful races I've ever seen in the league. And there's something dramatic to happen at the final fence, it's going to stay that way. 
hand are all over it now. It's going to be extreme consequence. It's going to take it. I don't think the order changed in this race once from start to finish. A kick on the car, but up towards the line, a bit of a strange race. Extreme consequence wins it. Ronaldinho second, and Darling of Dionysus was third. So there you go then. Another one that didn't change at all throughout the entire race, as you can see from the figures there. Extreme consequence for Josh Southern takes it. Ronaldinho for Paul Rhodes second. And Darling of Dionysus for Martin Leader was third. Picked up 3,000 quid just for turning up.